Hi everyone, my name is Kevin. Today I want to show you how you could open up a private or an incognito browser session on your computer using Google Chrome. Why would you possibly want to do it? Well, I don't know, maybe Mother's Day is coming up and you want to buy your mom a gift and you don't want her to go on your computer to see what you got her. I can't think of any other reasons why you'd use it. But anyway, I'll show you how to do it. All right, well, let's jump on the PC here. I am on my desktop and we want to open up a private incognito browsing session. It's actually extremely simple to do it. Um, so here I have Google Chrome on my taskbar. Probably the easiest way to do it is you simply right click on your taskbar and then there's an option called new incognito window. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. Uh, and so that's opened up an incognito window. It's really simple. Um, I'm going to open up a standard Chrome window as well. And so we're going to put them side by side. You'll see the main difference between an incognito window and a standard window is the incognito window has this black border around it. And that's to help you uh, basically remind you that you're in private mode. And then the white window is your standard, uh, just standard browsing session. How else can we open up the uh, browsing window? Well, a few other ways you could do it. Um, within your Chrome session, what you could do is click on this dot, dot, dot. Uh, and then if you scroll down, there's an option that says new incognito window. You could also click on that. You'll also notice that there's a shortcut key right next to that option. You could also press control, shift, and N on your keyboard. So first off, I'm going to click on this. So that's opened up an incognito window. And then I could press control, shift, N on my keyboard. And that also opens up an incognito window. So here I have all these uh, private browsing sessions. Now that I have the window up, I just want to talk about a few things about the window though and some things that you should be aware of. So you'll see these little bullet points on the page. I'm going to zoom in a little bit so we can see that nice and clear. Um, so by being in this private session, what that means is that uh, the browser won't keep track of any of your browsing history. So any websites you go to, let's say you go to Amazon.com to buy your mom this gift, it won't keep track of the fact that you went to Amazon.com. The browser won't store any cookies or site data, so you won't get any of those. And lastly, if you fill out any forms, let's say you fill in your address for shipping for this gift for your mom, uh, the browser won't keep track of that. What it won't do, however, is uh, if you visit a website, the website will know that you visited that website. If, let's say you're in school or you work somewhere, they'll probably have tracking where they could see what websites you go to. And lastly, your internet service provider or your ISP, they'll also be able to see what websites you go to. So all that incognito or in private browsing does is it keeps what websites you go to on this device, it keeps that private. Uh, but anyone downstream, internet service provider, employer, school, websites, they can still see what you're doing on their site. Uh, but it's still very beneficial if you don't want people on your machine knowing what you're up to. Uh, and that's as simple as it is. So it's pretty easy to turn on incognito mode or private browsing session. Uh, very simple to do. I showed you three different ways to do it. Uh, hopefully you found this content helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more how-to videos like this in the future, uh, please hit that subscribe button. That way you'll get a notification anytime new content like this comes out. And if you want to see any other video topics in the future, have a nagging question that you want to know how to do, uh, in the comments down below, leave a comment about what you're trying to do, uh, and I'll add that to my list of videos to create. All right, well, thanks a lot. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you next time. Bye.